What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Trotter Brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man who around today, guys. I am here with OG Dugan. Say hi to the people, man. Hi to the people. <laughs> and today we are gonna be doing a Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker video And this video is gonna be slightly different because this video is gonna be based on a subscriber or a fan of Naruto games Idea like the idea of the next Naruto game this guy put a theory on how character creation could work and how we would like to see it So I'm gonna allow Dugan to read the idea that the guy said and then we're gonna give our overall, our overall brief, brief thoughts, and then, um, and then um, say the stuff that we'll tweak, say the stuff we like and dislike, yada yada yada. So, yeah, take it away, Dugan. All right, all right. He says, uh, "quote My idea for Naruto character creation story. You're one of Orochimaru's test subjects who escaped, which allows you to have a mix of Senju, Uzumaki, Uchiha, and Hyuga, or even a Jinchuriki." Depending on what clans you chose to be a mix of, you get a specific skill tree and there are mentors who can teach you more and there would be a super slash ultimate attack system similar to Xenoverse and lastly no bullshit constant patches, uh, no bullshit constant patches, etc. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah, um, that's pretty much the idea. So I'm going to let you start off um, with um, the stuff you like and dislike and the okay let's start with the likes first and then we go into dislikes and then we go into stuff that we tweak so um what do you like about this idea um dugan um i really like the idea of a story mode based around you being one of orochimaru's test subjects test subjects because we've seen that uh you know that happened to people in the anime slash manga like yamato and uh well the anime went into more detail about it which was a, actually a pretty good filler arc itself um so i really like that idea it's just the one way i would i would actually kind of tweak that just to start off is i feel like that's good as one class uh we were talking about i just in a rochimaru test subject who you know could have a kekai genkai kekai genkai or whatever um would be really cool and we'll go a bit more into detail you can go ahead and say something like mm -hmm. um when it comes to my thoughts about this I really do feel like an idea like this would hook people into into buying this game. Like no one can deny an idea like this will hook people into playing Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. But the only issue that you could really say is the fact that this this idea. The only thing that I can say that's flawed about it is that since the idea sounds so good on paper, it could be one of those ideas that when it actually gets executed. It may not be as good as it sounds like. Look at look at for example, Xenoverse. Xenoverse, the whole idea on paper, seeing that first trailer, a lot of people got hyped, a lot of people got excited. And I do feel that would be the same with Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker if that was to be implemented in this game. But overall, as a standpoint, like like you said, um, it is good for one class. I'm liking the concept of being Orochimaru's test subject. Um, it's it like it sounds cool, but like you said. It would fit better if it was other other clans as well. But I could see Bandai more realistically resulting into doing the whole one class thing because making multiple class would be a lot more work and the one class thing would fit a lot better to them in terms of convenience and in terms of yeah. um, less effort, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um so what's the do you have any major dislikes about this idea? Issues or um not, or there's the, nothing I I specifically dislike about it um i see where he's coming from where he says you know you should be a test subject because you have a mix of sinju uchiha because it makes a, a sense for your character to have a variety of different jutsus but i mean even if your character was a uh, hyuga per se he could still have maybe have the chakra nature to do fire style jutsus uh, that's just the one thing. If if the classes are Hyuga, if the classes are Chiha, these are clans that are native to the Leaf Village, so that would alienate other villages. And that's like that's one thing uh, to go at is CC2 did not do a very good job of Naruto lore. No game has done an extremely good job of um, the later on Shippuden lore where the world is expanded. So I mean, when you compare it to how I mean, Xenoverse does tackle the Dragon Ball lore well. See, now what company could actually 
you know, could, uh, uh, you know, these people from Team Ninja, can they go this deep into the Naruto lore is the question, so. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, um, that, that's, that's one thing you gotta think about, like, can they go that detail, can they do it, do they have the time to do it, but there's one thing for sure, obviously we know this is not gonna be in the game, like, there's no debate about it, we know this idea won't be in the game and yeah. based on the stuff we're seeing character creation is not going to be in the game the reason why me and Dugan are discussing this because someone requested it and me and Dugan thought this would be a fun idea to talk about it and um, I do agree with everything you're saying like I feel like if there's a game that would implement this the game would have to like you said follow the Naruto law like when you really think about anime games not a lot not a lot of them follow the law because they're so focused on getting a balanced combat system mm -hmm. Getting everyone to be equally as good, no real different level of classes, yada yada yada. It's more of so putting everyone somewhat on the same level. Burn and Blood kind of went away from that, and it kind of suffered, and it, it suffered in terms of bringing casual casual anime fans into it, but also succeeded in terms of impressing the hardcore One Piece fans. So it's 50-50, But in order for this to work, like you said, there's going to be a lot of law. Like, um, I know that in um, Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker that they added in summonings. So, implementing stuff like summonings and being Orochimaru's test subject, it will make a really interesting story. And, like, a lot of people like Naruto. So, seeing something different after Storm is always going to be a pull. Or is always going to be something to drag people in to, to what's happening next regarding the series of um, Naruto. So, Dugan, is there any ideas that you would add on to this idea? Or like that that's there's nothing. Like what would you add on to it if you could? Oh yeah, um like I kinda make possibly make the character creation uh a more village and chakra nature based. I think would make would definitely be uh pretty easy and interesting. And I, I still do though like the idea of having the Jinchuriki like the Jinchuriki and, and the test subject are just really great ideas for for uh for character creations and i guess that could kind of be what drives them you know whatever kekai genkai they have from the from the uh test and whatever you know the tailed beast they have per se and then but that that kind of just drive your character basically um but on the other hand you could just go with something more simple where you're a cloud you know you're a, from the village hidden in the clouds and you, I don't know, you're, you're lightning, you use lightning based chakra mainly. I don't know, just, uh, like, like we're saying, just get, uh, put any amount of thought into it, you know? And, and I'm sure it could be cool, but like, like we're saying, like, they're probably, there's definitely not gonna be character creation, even though we weren't supposed to see this trailer that was put out, um, that, that was basically leaked. Uh, it's it's an early trailer, so we don't know how much they're they're gonna change because they haven't even officially announced the game yet. They really haven't. So who who knows really? Um, character creation would be is always just cool and fun to think about, though. So you have anything else to add? Um, no, I think you pretty much said everything. Like I agree with what you with like all the stuff you said. Um, the idea was really cool. The likelihood of it happening is 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 very unlikely because uh, you got the whole tree vax like um, with Xenoverse trying to push his idea forward, and somewhat he did make an impact. Some of his ideas did end up in Dragon Ball games, but it kind of did get spread out like throughout like other Dragon Ball games. But as a whole, in terms of this happening, it's unlikely. Seeing this in this game, unlikely, like very unlikely. Virtually, I'm hundred percent sure that it would not be in this game. But um, as a whole, like. It was a fun. It was it was a fun topic to discuss. Yeah. Uh, fun thing, so, something fun to talk about. But as a whole, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave that down in the comment section below. Would you like the whole concept of being a Rochimaru's test subject and picking your whole idea? I know a lot of people are, are sick and tired of character creation because of Xenoverse and the way they did it in Xenoverse. But um, I don't know. I think I feel like this idea could work. Yeah. Like, and yeah. Uh, one thing he mentioned I, that uh. I think we should mention is the mentors like what mentor would you really like that's something fun to think about yeah yeah like i totally agree that is something fun to think about like that is something that that is great that that, that you gotta consider but 
in terms of the mental system, I can see it working like Xenoverse, but I reckon the free roam aspect of this game would be a lot better than Xenoverse in terms of the way you're traveling and everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. Uh, make sure you check out Dugan's channel. Channel link will be in the description below. I highly recommend it. And yeah, like I said, give your overall thoughts about this. And also, if you've got any questions that, that you want to ask us, leave it down in the comment section below. Or you can hit us up on Twitter or any of our other social media links, which will all be in the description. And yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please leave a like, rate, and enjoy this video. And yeah, this is UK. Chocolate Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.